Newark Mayor Cory Booker has been on the defense since he made the following comments Sunday morning on the political talk show Meet the Press. This kind of stuff is nauseating to me on both sides. It's nauseating to the American public. Enough is enough. Stop attacking private equity. Stop attacking Jeremiah Wright. These comments by Booker, a key ally of President Barack Obama, seem to contradict Obama's campaign ad. The ad tries to paint his Republican opponent Mitt Romney, the former CEO of Bain Capital, a private equity firm, as someone who put profits above the middle class workers. We view Mitt Romney as a job destroyer. Mitt Romney's campaign has lashed back, saying, quote, President Obama continues to assault the free enterprise system, and the Republican Party is using Booker's comments in a new ad. I have to just say from a very personal level, uh, I'm not about to sit here and indict uh, private equity. Booker has since backpedaled and reaffirmed his support of President Obama on the airwaves, YouTube, and Twitter, but questions are still swirling as to why this high-profile, savvy Democratic leader would make an apparent political faux pas. Also raising eyebrows is a report on thinkprogress.org that indicates that several Bain Capital officials contributed to Booker's 2002 campaign. The mayor declined our request for an interview, but other Democrats and Republicans have voiced their opinions about the impact of Booker's comments on Meet the Press. I think you see the Democratic Party being the Democratic Party. We have lots of viewpoints. I think he kind of slipped and stumbled, said what he really thought. Mitt Romney's record in Bain uh, is fair game uh, and should be investigated because it really represents a difference of opinion about what we think corporations should do. It's unclear if this controversy will hurt Booker, who has been riding a wave of positive press since he rescued his neighbor from a fire. And Booker was featured in this Seinfeld parody recently with Governor Christie, but Republican leader John Bramnick has his own predictions. I think within his party, he probably lose a couple points. Though he's such kind of a superstar within his party, probably the number of points he lost are minimal. But I think he gains political points nationally. But with the political season upon us, it's likely this controversy won't go away anytime soon. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Newark.